hot grease. What I would do is you just grab an onion and you just run it through when it's nice and hot. Go to. Try to see blood on the top. The bar crawl starts at 12. So originally we had one of our friends named David that was supposed to bring the grill. And last minute he couldn't show up. So for about two to three days we did not have a grill. And our Cinco de Fire Festival would have legit been a fire festival. The whole point of it was to make a type of cookout. My mom came in clutch and she let us borrow her grill. We called this event Cinco de Fire and we named it after the fire festival because it was a bust and as you know earlier you know why our event was almost a bust so i will see y'all later Sooner or later, we are going to be heading out to the bars and I'm going to show you guys what is the best mezcal drink they're having. And we got... This is literally the best bartender when it comes to making balamas because I'm going to show you guys right now Hey, you got a fucking hammer? Yeah. Bro, I fucking broke your bathroom. There we go. Can you let us know what Cinco de Mayo is about? Yeah, Cinco de Mayo is about the indigenous people. That's it. <laughs> I try to use a big word. Chalimar is going to tell you guys what Cinco de Mayo is actually about. Cinco de Mayo was the day where the people of Puebla defeated the French army. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> We're here in Pilsen, Chicago for the championship beer pong. First bar and the first bar we're going to is called La Marca. Chivas. 